Hello everyone, I'm Unremarkable and welcome to my Minecraft tour. So, I've been working on this world for a while and I want to just show off some of the cool stuff I've been working on. So, first right here, this is my guardian farm. This design is by Iskal85. Basically, the main concept is there's just these two big tubes. Whenever some guardians spawn in there, there's bubble columns that push them up, filter them into the middle, and drop them down, and then I just bring the items back up and through an item filter, we got some storage over there. Over here I've got just a bunch of iron blocks because I want to make one of those giant like maps where it's all one block so you can make like the infinite room because I think that'd be pretty cool. And I do have, yeah this is my progress so far on it. Still have a lot of the way to go, I'm, I, just, I just keep looping around in circles. But let's hop into my nether hub and I can show some of my other stuff off. So over here is my kind of broken... A uh, squid farm. I think I need to move this underneath the nether ceiling because it keeps having problems linking up with my other portals because this is my main portal right here. And for whatever reason, sometimes the squids go into that one instead of this one. So I think it's just like too far away from where it's supposed to be to link up correctly. But as you can see, there's there's no there's no ink sacks in there. But if I disconnect that portal, it works. So it's. It's not necessarily broken, it's just an inconvenience. And also, I don't know if having the zombie piglins, zombified piglins in there breaks it or what, because it's supposed to just be chickens, but those just kind of spawn in there. Well, while we're in the nether, let's go up here to my gold farm. This one is one of my favorite farms that I have. So basically, it's just a big old platform of magma blocks. And what this does is no mob can spawn on magma blocks that would uh, be damaged by it. So these the zombified piglins don't get damaged by it. They're first pulled in by these turtle eggs up here. And then once they get close enough, this iron golem aggros them. And they get filtered down into these two little holes and fall down my little chamber. And these, uh, these slabs are up here so ghasts can't spawn, because ghasts are annoying. So if we come over here, there's a couple of sounds. I have this button that just turns lava on and off here so that I don't have to deal with them too much. But basically, if I turn it on, I get in here, and I gotta, I gotta clear some of these gotta clear those out they are a little loud um I'll get AFK XP here because since they were hit by the iron golem they're technically aggroed towards the player so it counts it as a player kill when they die as long as they're still aggroed I could just sit here and collect XP all day the problem with that is if there's too many XP orbs it lags out my game so I kinda have to keep some of them alive Got an item filter down here, and then, oops. And then there's just one piglin bartering station over there. And that's about it for my nether farms. I have a, an enderman farm, but that one's super broken, so we're not even going to visit that. Anyways, here we are. Here's my little main nether portal for now. I kind of decorated it with the 116 blocks. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm missing a few blocks there because I just steal some stuff. But this is my main base for now. It's not particularly nice. I've got a super smelter over here. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my... Uh, the, the super smelter used to be over here, but I didn't want it over here. So I've got a bamboo farm that just drops the fuel down there. So it's it's got infinite fuel. You just got to make sure there's enough in it. And yeah, that's pretty simple. Just chests, uh, loaders, and hoppers, and unloaders, and all that, and whatnot, and stuff. So that's a pretty simple one. Um, come over here, I've got my, my chest monster, my enchanting station. Here's my map of my world, uh, or my main area, at least. I don't, why is, get out of there. Why is, why is it there? Is it because I oh I probably placed the yeah, I have another map over there, so that's probably why that's there. That's a little annoying, but that's fine. Um here is my shulker bot or my ender chest. It's pretty simple. I've got just all my basic stuff I need to carry around. And 
and yeah, that's it. We'll show off some of my farms. Here's my perimeter. I'm doing kind of like a castle theme, but like underwater temple. It's kind of the idea of it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, right here, this is my creeper farm. I don't know if any of them are going to spawn right now just because they're, they're annoying and they don't want to. There's a general mob farm. And it sends all my items up to the system here. Okay, so I've got a cactus farm there, I've got a sugarcane farm, and of course my general mob farm, which just filters all the items over to here, which is nice. I've got a villager trading hall, villager trading hall down here. Um, it's it's nothing too cool right now. I've just got you know um, a couple a couple of guys. I have some random bars around which I need to clean up. <laughs> because they got converted into the villagers and that was annoying um here's my sugarcane farm this works by a flying machine so if I turn it on if I turn it on on the other side up okay 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 we get a little laggy on this side sometimes oh I guess we just we just uh we just broke There we go. We just do that. It works by a flying machine and just does all that. I've got hopper minecarts down there that pick up all the items. But I actually don't want it on right now because it tends to lag out my game just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Um. So there's that. The cactus farm is pretty simple. It's just whenever they grow it breaks the cactus off and then flows into water stream up there. So that's that. Here's my broken melon and pumpkin farm. There's supposed to be flying machines that go through here but I wanted to build the castle walls and it kept crashing into them and breaking everything so right now it's kind of manual which is fine. It's fine. Um, eventually I'd like to put the flying machines back in and just kind of shorten it. That would be nice but not sure if that's going to happen. There's my broken villager breeder. I don't think it's broken. I've just never seen any villagers come out of it. So I, I'm doubtful if it actually works. There's my wood farm. Uh, there's just TNT dupers up there. And then it makes its own bone meal and bone meals the trees up. And then I collect the wood and the I think this is the, the shroom lights. I don't have any in there right now, but have it off because sometimes when you load and unload the chunks, it kind of breaks the TNT duper, so that that can get annoying. And is that, that I think that's about it for this area right here. I'm working on this is where I want my new base to be. I want to build like a, a more of like a castle inside of my castle here, so you can kind of see the outline of where I want it to be. And that's this area. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, up here. Up here, there's just some starter bamboo stuff. Very basic starter farms. This is a pretty simple crop farm. You just uh, plant whatever, and then if you hit this button here, it just breaks all the blocks and washes the items down. Very simple. Very easy. If I used hopper minecarts there, that probably would have helped. But I mean, it's fine over there that's the squid farm I was talking about they just spawn in those little middle things and then the end portals teleport them to the nether but it's broken because it's annoying um there's the uh, the bamboo farm it works basically the same as the can you not get out of here it works basically the same as the sugarcane farm with the flying machine Except I don't let this one run all the time because it's annoying and it breaks everything. It, it kind of lags out my game a lot, so we only turn that on when we need to do more smelting. And all my stuff is full anyway, so there's no point in having it run if I have nothing to do with it. And then next we'll stop over at my raid farm. Now it is a bad omen and raid farm at the moment. It was a... Uh, a pillager outpost so if I go over here you can see 
It spawns a lot of pillagers. And oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna hop down here. Oh, you're supposed to you're supposed to get out. Out, out, out now. They're not supposed to see me get you know, I should just build a nether portal down here so I can just go through the nether and they won't be able to see me. But it's fine. It's it's whatever. I mean, it's fine. Um This was one of my earlier farms. I really liked it. Um just stand here, you start a raid, kill all the guys. And then you can you can get all the raid items. So that was nice for some early uh Totals on dying, some emeralds, crossbows, I guess. Um, I do have some vanilla tweaks mods in, so and I just put in, so I'm just starting to collect the heads. So I, d <laughs> I do like the pillager head. This, this is very funny. Um, here's some villagers here. This was supposed to be for Hero of the Village, but it doesn't work for some reason. They don't throw me items when I finish it, so I don't know exactly what the problem is there. Might be because more pillagers spawn because it's still an outpost. Ideally, I would build another like area farther away just to kill them. Because the problem with doing it at a villager outpost is that more pillagers spawn, which counts up to the raid count. Normally, if you have it in a different area, more pillagers won't spawn in the raid. So, like, if I get it really low down. It might go back up because more pillagers spawn because it's a pillager outpost. Yeah, there's two remaining. There's one remaining. And oh, actually, I'll be able to get this one. Nope, yeah, see, look at that. One more just spawned, and then my raid can't continue. So that's the problem with this, this farm. Uh, yeah, might fix it later. Not really anything I need from it at the moment. It was good for XP at the beginning, but now with that gold farm I already showed, there's really no point. If I can just AFK to get XP and I already have all my enchanted items, so I don't don't need anything from it. So we're gonna oh hey. Um you got you got anything good? Ooh, I would like the slime blocks. But you guys are being a little rude, so we're gonna leave. What other, do I have any other farms? That's a fish farm that never worked because I was trying to breed up cats for the for the uh, creeper farm here. Um, that doesn't work, like at all. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, my iron farm. I totally just skipped out on the iron farm. This is one of my favorite farms. They've got a villager, or a, sorry, a zombie. He goes around this little track here and that I don't exactly understand how the mechanics work, but that like scares the villagers, which spawns an iron golem because they can only spawn over there on the solid stone blocks, and then it pushes them there, kills them with the lava, and brings me the iron, and then I've got the sorting system down there. And I also run my extra roses into the wood farm for more bone meal for that, because that one's not fully sustainable, I found. It's supposed to be, but in my experience, it hasn't been. I'm not sure if that's a problem with me or what. So I just run some extra roses in there for extra bone meal. That's been seeming to work pretty well. Um, besides that, it gives it gives a lot of iron. I don't have any in here right now because I've been working on that uh, that map. But I have all the iron I could ever want. If we go down here. I'll just see how much I have. I was AFKing for a couple minutes earlier. Yeah, a couple stacks right there. Um, and I've got a very overkill system. Since I have AFK wood and iron, chests and hoppers are not a problem for me at all. And the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm gives me lots of rockets, which is very necessary. And I think that's about it for what I have currently. Uh, if you like what you see, um, leave a comment down below. I could live stream me just working on some of my projects. And if you have any suggestions for other farms or something you think I should build, leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.